What are the unintended consequences of this action? Look, I think it was originally designed to do just that, right? It was designed to create that dopamine rush of, oh my God, people like my photo, people like my stuff. Um, though it's become, I think, something far worse. I was actually really inspired reading multiple articles on Instagram saying they're talking about not removing altogether the, the likes and the reach, but making it like a click away. So we get back to just saying, that's a really cool photo that Tristan posted, right? Instead of, that's a cool photo. Wait, how many views does it have? How many shares does it have? Do I want to share, you know, do I want to be the first to comment, etc.? cetera? Um, so I think, it, I think we were conditioned that way. I think we were conditioned by all the social media sites to do exactly what we did. And it always goes back to the question I love right now. What are the unintended consequences of this action? Yeah. Think of the, the self-esteem issues that it has created right? When you, you post something that is meaningful and helpful to your past clients, to your sphere, to your prospects, and that video only gets, you know, 43 views and you're depressed instead of thinking, wait a minute, 43 people just listened to my message. 43 people took the time out of their day to, to basically check out what it is I had to say about this situation in my business. If I had to make 43 phone calls, that would take a lot of time. If I had to knock on 43 doors, that would take a lot of time. Like we, we just get so hung up in the number versus thinking about the one client we're trying to help.